Hey, Christina. Glad you came by. How you feeling? You still got a thing on the eye there. I'm pretty good physically. The rest is taking time. Yeah. And all the lies we told and the fact that Kiefer's dead and Mr. Bauer is going after Mom. All right, Mr. Bauer won't be a problem, sweetheart. Please don't go after him. No, no, that's not what I meant, Christina. I, I'm, it's okay. The worst is behind you. Things are going to get better for you now. I still think about Kiefer. And wonder how it all went so wrong. Listen to me. Kiefer is an abusive pig who messed with your head. And I know what that's about. Like I told you before, my step... Father used to do that to my mother. What was it like? Did he act normal and then suddenly get really mad? He would come home from work and he would start a conversation with my mother and she would say something like the vacuum broke and he, it would set him off and he would start an argument and she would say something back and he'd grab her by the hair and he'd, he'd punch her and he'd throw her on the ground, he'd kick her. And then I would say something, right? To try to stop it. And he would grab me and he would punch me and he would, he would hurt me. Did he ever say why he did it? Well, you know, he used to say we we made him do it. it. It was never his fault. It was always our fault, you know, for making him mad. That's exactly what Kiefer used to say. It's okay, honey. Come here. Mom has this Psych 101 theory that I felt rejected by you. So I was using Kiefer as a substitute. That's true, I'm sorry. I'm not blaming you, Dad. I blame you for other stuff. But Kiefer was my mistake. I just want the best for you. And it kills me that uh, you dated a guy who hit you and abused you. I wish I had known. But I kept it a secret from everyone. I'm still working on why. But I'm seeing a therapist to figure it out. <laughs> you know, Maybe I could have helped a little bit if I was there for you like a father should be. You try to do the best you can with your kids. And you love them with all your heart. And somehow, you know, it just keeps going wrong. Dating abuse is real. Don't let your teen tell you that it isn't. To learn more, the National Teen Dating Violence Hotline has peer advocates who can help you recognize red flags. Call 866-331-9474 or visit loveisrespect.org. You are the best defense for your teen. Thank, Thank you. you.